everybody and welcome back I would just like to thank you for clicking on this video I really do appreciate it and I'm almost at 600 subscribers and I'm working on a very special destiny montage for you guys and it'll be posted once we hit 600 now before you get bored let's get right into it so today I will be covering a lot more Destiny 2 news, starting off with preloading. If you've pre-ordered Destiny 2 digitally on a PS4, you can now go to your library, find Destiny 2 in the purchase section, click on it and preload the game, meaning you're going to download Destiny 2 onto your console and be able to start it up the day it releases without having to download it the day of. Yes, I know that is important, but possibly not quite what you are looking for. But you might be looking for this, some juicy raid info. So, you cannot start up the Leviathan raid on the first day the game comes out. Destiny 2 releases on September 6th, but the raid only becomes available on September 13th at 10am PT. And Trials of the Nine only starts two days later on September 15th at the same time as the raid starts. They do this every single time a new raid comes out to give you Guardians time to gear up and get that luscious loot. But the Nightfall doesn't start on a separate day. You can run a Nightfall the first day Destiny 2 comes out if you wish to do that. Breaking news. It is no longer advantageous to have your best gear equipped when you decrypt an Ingram. They check your best loadout, meaning in Destiny 1 when you decrypted an Ingram, the amount of attack or defense your gear had depended on how high your light level was and if you were using lower light level items instead of your best gear and forgot to switch it up, the item you received from the Ingram had lower defense or attack, but now that doesn't happen anymore. You can now have the worst stuff equipped, but they check for your highest weapons and armor to determine the attack or defense of the item you'll get from the Ingram. Well, here's something you guys have probably been waiting for. If you're on PlayStation and want some free loot, here's how to get it. Go online and search up this link, live.playstation.com. It'll bring you to this website here, give it a minute to load up and you'll be here. At the bottom right corner there will be a tab called quests, click on it and there will be a ton of different things you can earn. Now I've already earned most of the things including an exclusive PS4 Destiny 2 countdown dynamic theme. I have also claimed a Destiny 2 Cade 6 avatar and right below it there is a Destiny 2 Hawthorne avatar. Now it's the same drill to earn all of these rewards and I'll go through that really quick. Like for me, I haven't earned this Ikora avatar, so right below it says watch the Destiny 2 Me Ikora PS4 video and you have to click on the click here link and right to the left there will be a video that starts playing. And there you go, to the left as you can see it says this is Ikora right there and you are watching the Me Ikora PS4 video and then a percentage bar right where it said Me Ikora starts going up as you can see it says 23.8 percent meaning the how far you've gotten into the video and once it hits 100 percent then you'll be able to earn your reward once the video is done go back to the destiny 2 icora avatar and click on claim your prime and a code will pop up in the middle of the screen that you have to go redeem at the playstation store on your playstation and if you were wondering, yes, I have already used this code, so it will be unavailable for you guys to use, unfortunately. But then I'm going to go ahead and claim my Zavala avatar, but you can do this for the K6 avatar, the Hawthorne avatar, the PS4 Destiny 2 Countdown Dynamic theme, which I highly suggest you should do. And you can enter a giveaway from watching another video, a PS4 giveaway. So I did all of them, and I hope you do too, and I hope you get all the free loot because because this is honestly really cool that they did this. You cheeky guardians, I bet you were wondering what it looks like. Well, here you go. This is exactly what it looks like. It's super duper cool, and I hope you get it for yourself. And thanks to Jay Skeleton because this is his video right here. I wasn't able to capture this because I don't have an Elgato and the PS4 does not record the home screen. So he probably had an Elgato and he recorded the entire thing which it doesn't take too too long but yeah I'm not gonna speed it up or anything I'll let it like be normal and go with the flow you know just kidding guys I'm gonna speed this up so it shows every single character and then destiny 2 and the traveler burning and stuff and that's it that's all people 
That's it, that's all. And for the last bit of news of the day, Destiny 2 Bungie Foundation is selling a collectible pin with an in-game exclusive emblem for 15 bucks, and all the money is going to help people in Houston, Texas that just went through Hurricane Harvey. So if you have any kindness in your heart, you'll get this. I have no kindness in my heart. I give no shit, so I ain't getting this stuff. I'm just kidding guys, I have a heart, I would get this, but unfortunately I'm broke, so that's where things go south. Anyways, you can get that pin and stuff on the Bungie store in the collectibles section. You'll be able to find it because there's not many collectibles you can get there, there's only like a couple others. And anyways, that's all the news I have for you today. Thank you for clicking on this video once more, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the very next video.